Welcome to the testing world. In previous session we have seen how we can create project and package. And inside the package we have created a Java file. So we are going to start programming in this session. Here we will understand what is class, variable and constants. So I'm moving to Eclipse and here we have a Java file. When we create a Java file by default, a class is created inside this Java file. As of now, we need not to bother about what do you mean by the class. We just need to understand that whatever the code you want to write in Java, that must be inside this class body. So here my class body is starting from this point and ending at this. So whatever the code we want to write in, in Java, that must be inside this. In the class, normally we write four items. One is variable, constant, method and constructor. So first of all, I'm going to show you a variable. So variables are created as same as we are doing in C programming language. First we define the data type. So like we have the different data types, first basic data type we are going to use int. I am creating a variable int i. So semicolon. All the lines, all the statements, all the lines must be ended with the semicolon. So here we have created a variable with the name i. And the data type of the variable is int means it can hold only integer value. I'm going to create one more variable like int j and giving the value 20. So here we have created two variables, one is i and other is j and both having data type integer. So means it can hold integer value. What is variable? So variables are used to hold some data. Value of the variable can be changed. Means variables are used to hold some values and these values could be changed later on. So as of now we have created two variables. In one variable we did not define any initial value and in the second variable we have defined the initial value. So if you are not defining the initial value that is fine because it's a variable we can later on assign it. We can change its value. Default we don't have any value later on we can assign it. And if you assign initial value that is again fine. Initial value is this later on if required you can change it so variables are used to hold some data value of the variable can be changed it's going to hold only integer value so we have seen that's a int integer can hold non decimal values non decimal value means in which we don't have any decimal points if you want to store this decimal point value it's going to show error like the variable is integer you cannot hold decimal values over here. If you want to hold the decimal values, two data types you can use. One is float and other is double. So double K. So if you want to store values with decimal points, you can use either float or double. What is the difference between the float and double? So I'm going to show you the difference between the float and double. Float is going to take four bytes of space. Means when you create a variable with the float data type, it's going to take four bytes of space. And if you use double, so double is going to take eight bytes of space. So here we can see if you want to store small decimal value you can use float and if you want to store a big decimal value you can use double data type so here we can see either we can use float or double we have seen like for storing decimal values we can use either float or double in the same way to hold numeric values non-decimal values we can use either byte i'm creating byte b sort s int 
long so these all four can be used to store known decimal values then what's the difference between the byte short int and long so here byte is going to take one byte of space in memory if you want to store very small value you can use byte and if you talk about how much data we can store it so the value is 2 raised to power 8 2 2 raised to power 8 minus 1 so 2 raised to power 8 means you can store 256 minus 256 to 255 so here if you want to store the value from minus 256 to 255 you can use byte in the same way short is going to take two byte of space so it can hold bigger value as compared to the byte and here int is going to take four byte of space and long is going to take eight byte of space in the same way float is going to take four byte and double is going to take eight byte of space so we have created many variables over here with the different data type. We have the different data types like byte, sort, int and long. Byte, sort, int, long are used to hold numeric data type with non-decimal values where we are not using decimal point. And float and doubles are used to store values with the decimal points. We have one data type which is care but whenever you are using char variable you can store only one character so here you can see we have created a variable c of character data type and it's going to hold one character at a time now in the same way we have one more data type which is boolean which is going to hold either true or false so boolean data type can be used to hold true or false value so here we can see i have created many variables with the different data types we are going to use all these data types while working with the java programming language and these are the variables so i recall it again variables are used to hold some data value of the variable can be changed now i'm removing few variables i'm just leaving these two variables so variables are here next is constants so constants are used to hold some data value of the constants cannot be changed it's quite similar to the variable the difference is that in case of the constants we cannot change the value so to create the constant in java we need to use final keyword so i'm using a keyword final and here on the both places we have used final so on one place we have assigned an initial value on other place we are not assigned an initial value and we are creating constants here you can see on one line we are not getting any error but on the sec on the other line we are getting error because constant mean we are defining some initial value which cannot be changed so here we have defined the initial value that is perfectly fine but here we have created a constant and did not define the initial value so we have to define the initial value like this now error is removed here understanding is like that whenever we are creating a constant it's mandatory for us to define initial value constant means we are defining this value which will never be changed and to create the constant we are going to use this final keyword if you are defining variables so like here on this line i'm just defining variable we are not using final keyword so if you are defining variable you define initial value that's fine if you don't define the initial value that is again fine but in the case of the constant initial value is mandatory so here we have seen we have created a variable constants and all the code that we want to write that must be inside the class body 
if you try to write this code i cut this and try to write this code outside the class it's going to show error because all the code that we are going to write must be inside the class body and all the lines must be ended with the semicolon so here we can see this is ended with the semicolon these lines are called statements so if we talk about here we have a class with the class name a class a we have created one constant constant is created by using final keyword the name of the constant is i it hold the value 34 data type of the constant is int also we have created a variable with the name l the data type of the variable is long and we did not define any initial value of this variable so that's all we have for the variable and constant in next session we are going to create functions and we are going to call them so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video